In this video, you will learn how to use the Canvas Gradebook and how to grade assignments using the Speed Grader. To begin, log into Canvas, navigate to your course, and then click Grades in Course Navigation. The Gradebook will display student information including student name and section, as well as their St. Edward's username. The following columns each represent an assignment. Assignment columns are automatically added every time you create graded assignments. The different icons and colors in the cells represent assignments and submission statuses within Canvas. You can sort, resize, and reorder any assignment column. To enter or edit scores in the gradebook for assignments that were not submitted online, for example, an in-class presentation or an assignment submitted on paper, Click the assignment cell located in the row of the student whose score you want to enter or edit. Type or use the arrows to enter the new score in the cell and press return or enter. You can also leave comments about certain grades by finding the cell located in the row of the appropriate student and clicking the discussion icon in the corner of the cell. If the assignment being graded is a Turnitin assignment, you will also see a Turnitin score icon in the corner of the cell. Click on either icon and on the next screen you can access the Turnitin report. To add a comment, type your comment in the Add a Comment field and click the Post Comment button to save and post your comment. These comments are also viewable in SpeedGrader and Conversations. To access the speed grader from the gradebook, hover over the assignment name, click on the drop down arrow that appears, and select Speed Grader. For each student, you will see the following areas a student submission area where you can access any submitted website URLs, media recordings, or file uploads, a Crocodoc document preview area for Word, PowerPoint, and PDF submissions, a grade assignment area where you can assign a grade based on your preferred assessment method, and finally a comment area where you can add comments as well as view comments created by you or the student about the assignment. If you see the Crocodoc toolbar, you can use these tools to annotate and comment on an online submission. The magnifying glass icon allows you to zoom in and out on the submission. The comment icon allows you to add comments on the submission. The download icon allows you to download the submission file and or the annotated submission file. If there are multiple pages, the page arrow icon helps you advance through the submission to find the page you want to annotate. Please note that in order for students to view all comments or annotations that you've made using the Speed Grader and Crocodoc, they will need to first click on the assignment name, submission details, and then view feedback. If students don't click on view feedback, they will not see any comments or annotations that you've made using the Crocodoc annotation tools. We recommend that you provide students with these instructions on how to view all comments and annotations. You can send the instructions by adding a comment to the assignment submission, creating an announcement, or sending a message using the inbox. When you're done grading a student submission, your comments and annotations are automatically saved. You can view the next student submission by using the arrow button in the top menu. After you've completed grading student submissions, click on the Gradebook or Course Home link to return to your course. For detailed instructions on how to add annotations and comments using Crocodoc, visit the Canvas support page. For technical support, please contact the Help Desk at 512-448-8443 or at support at deadwords.edu. For instructional design support, please contact Instructional Technology at 
or instcom at stedwords.edu.